The New Zealand government is considering joining the non-nuclear part of the AUKUS alliance, the alliance between Australia, the UK and the USA, that will see Australia receive a number of nuclear-powered submarines. However, some groups are calling for proper public debate over our involvement in this kind of alliance. One such group is Te Kuaka, who advocate for a progressive role for Aotearoa in the world. Dr. Aramarata Ngoangati Mania Poto Taranaki Nga Ruahine is the spokesperson for Te Kuaka and is with us now. Tēnā koe, Dr. Rata, thank you for joining us. Tēnā koe. Now, we've been staunchly anti-nuclear for decades. The Prime Minister said this morning that this is unlikely to change. So what concerns do you have around Aotearoa joining the Pillar 2 part of the AUKUS non-nuclear part where you feel the need for public debate? Yeah, so this would represent a really um, stark change in our foreign policy direction. Um, this pact, this AUKUS pact, is a really aggressive strategy that's a specifically about containing China. It's not so much a security agreement um, to protect ourselves. And so uh, we think that it's really important if we're going to make any kind of change like that to have broad public discussion about that first, uh, particularly as it goes against some of our really important declarations that we've signed on to with our Pacific partners. So the Boy Declaration and the Bikitawa Declaration, which says that we will go about dispute resolution to try to achieve peaceful resolutions to any issues. Um, it will put climate change and human rights first. Um, and so in joining this kind of aggressive pact that's really about US strategic priorities would be a, a too big of a shift to, for our government to do. They don't have mandate to make that kind of change without a broad-based public discussion first. And this, this concerns you greatly, even if New Zealand does sign up to this alliance, albeit in less formal capacity than the bigger players. Absolutely. So, you know, the government has said that this is about uh, uh, technology. So technology can include weapons as well. Um, you know, we don't... And even so, this AUKUS is all about US strategic priorities. It's about aggressively taking out... Chinese nuclear weapons aboard submarines, and that would be devastating. If we were to blow up uh, a submarine carrying nuclear weapons in the Pacific, we could be poisoning the Pacific. So that might be good for US strategic interests, but it certainly isn't good for ours. So we need to find diplomatic, peaceful solutions for these tensions. Now, the word is that AUKUS has been set up in part to act as a deterrent to China's trying to gain more influence in the Pacific. Should we not be trying to help support and protect our Pacific neighbours with such a strong alliance without actually getting in between the superpowers? Absolutely. We don't want to be in between the, the, the superpowers, so we should follow the advice of Debbie Ngari Rapaka and um, Rawari Waititi, who have called for neutrality. Uh, we should take a position where we're able to get along with, with our neighbours. This is this part of the world, is not. we're not part of the UK, uh, we're not part of the US, we're in the Pacific. This is where our future is, and so we should be building our, Pacific, our future based on regionalism, Pacific regionalism. We have to... Remember that the, the Chinese economy is now bigger than the US economy. So the battle is over. Uh, we need to be thinking about a soft landing for the, the change in, um, in global power uh, that we're seeing. So that means getting along well with our neighbours. Dr Rata, how would you feel if America started to strong arm this particular alliance just to ensure that we're part of their plan? Well... You know, there's a lot of countries, it's not just Aotearoa, that wants to find a new, that, you know, if we speak to the people, a lot of people are opposed to, to AUKUS, and there are other countries, uh, you know, Emmanuel Macron has just visited China, um, indicating that he wants to have good relations with China. Uh, Germany has indicated that they don't want to just, you know, follow, fall into a lockstep with, with the US as well. Um, and so I think the more that we can do to, to really show uh, the US that we are not prepared to just follow them into war, uh, the less likely we are to actually find ourselves in the middle of a war in the Pacific. And you also have concerns over our relationship with NATO, particularly at this point with the war going on in Ukraine. What are your biggest worries around this? So we have to remember that, that NATO is actually a, a nuclear agreement. So they have nuclear deterrence as part of their 
agreement. So we are staunchly anti-nuclear, as you mentioned. And so joining up with NATO uh, should be the furthest thing from our from our minds because public support is very strongly uh, in favour of our anti-nuclear stance. Uh, so, so what we should be asking our leaders is to not be having any discussions about any potential alliances with, with any tier of AUKUS. And we should certainly not be cozying up to NATO. We should be keeping clear distance and showing uh, what our government has committed to, which is an independent foreign policy. Dr. Arama Rata, spokesperson for Te Kuaka. Thank you so much for your time today and for your insights. Ngā mihi kia koe. Ngā mihi.